Hey guys, I'm back. Another video today. We'll be playing some Ithne Elves, which is uh, sort of a new kind of archetype that I've been playing around with a little bit. Um, Siri Nova is what it's based on. Um, that's what the deck's functioning around. And yeah, I'll just jump into each of the cards and what they're doing. So as I said, we've got Ithne, we've got Siri Nova. Ithne is replaying silver or bronze spell. Uh, we have a couple of these. Um, so first things first, we have Scorch, which is, you know, Scorch is Scorch. Destroy all the highest units, of course. Uh, pretty good at the moment when people are playing bears from veterans in Skelliger. They all line up at 11. Um, also, great swords have some pretty big stuff. Just Skelliger in general has a lot of tool units which you can really hurt with Scorch. Uh, it's not too bad against Alchemy as well. You know, they buff things up with Ale. Um, so yeah, generally a pretty good one. And you can always line things up with Doblith and Archers, which we also have. You know, you damage by three, then one. You can you can set things to the same amount of strength as well as stopping your own units from being scorched by that. Um, so that's the first silver spell we have. We often use this with Ithne um, in round two or three just to get a big point play. Um, and yeah, I think it can be a finisher in that sense. Um, the other spell we have is Marching Orders, or the Silver spell. Uh, it's going to be pulling, as we'll see shortly, Elven Merc and Elven Scout, which are the one strength. You don't want it to go to threes, because then War Dancer Hattori is not a good, really, option, unless you've got both War Dancers out, but that doesn't happen very often. So yeah, Marching Orders is the next one. Um, pretty good for thinning, pretty good for just guaranteeing these cards, which are really, you know, Elven Merc and Elven Scout, really good for getting some Elves on the board, which synergize with the other bronzes and Aileron as well. <clears throat> so yeah, we also have Doppler, which is creating a bronze unit. And it's a bit of a weird one to include, but it just gives us a, a good Merc target that we can always play in any situation. Uh, make sure Merc doesn't brick if we have more than, you know, if we have a Reconnaissance or two in hand. <clears throat> so that's pretty useful. Uh, we also have Reconnaissance just to thin the deck, guarantee a few more of our bronzes, and obviously these are being pulled by the Mercenary. Um, Scout is going to be doing a similar thing to Doppler, just generating more bodies, getting some more elves on the board. Um, Half Elf Hunters as well doing the same thing, a couple of bodies, a couple of elves, um, and this is all synergized with Varihad Vanguards, uh, which you know typically you see played with officers. Um, this deck doesn't have those, I think it's not worth it because you run into problems with your Scorch, your guys can get quite, uh, you know, officers can be quite high in, in terms of strength, whereas if you don't have them then that's not an issue. Um, and yeah, also it's just a bit inconsistent if you have only two of each. Um, but yeah, these are very good, just you play them at the end of a long round and they're effectively engines which gain value the longer they're in your hand, or the longer you play the round. So that's pretty cool um, going on there. We also have the archers to, you know, another elf body, another way to set up scorches and offset scorches, that sort of thing. Um, so in terms of silvers, we also have Hattori, he's just going to be used on Evan Scout or Merc probably. I uh, can also do it on Hunter if you buff him up from Hawker support that you create somehow, so he's just a good amount of points and a good few bodies for vanguards potentially later in the game if you still have some. Um, Ida is then there for weather clear, uh, just some solid removal as well if you need it in certain matchups with the thunder. Uh, pretty solid silver card. We have Aileron who's going to pop out the deck for basically free six points. Um, really nice when we have all the elves that we're playing with this. Um, Actually, it's pretty good. And Yaven, of course, is the spy. We pretty much need that in the current meta, so you don't get spied and are immediately pushed out the game. Um, those are the silvers. Golds, we have Siri Nova, and obviously we have two copies of each bronze. This is a pretty fat, powerful 22-point uh, finisher, which we are often going to be using in round three to close out games. Um, we also have Shiru, who's spawning Scorcher Epidemic. Almost always going to be a Scorch, just to have another option to burn all the highest stuff um, with the Ithne and the, the Scorch in the deck. And then we also have Triss, who is creating a bronze special. Uh, now this is just Doppler or Reconnaissance, but you know, sometimes you get another option from your opponent, which is quite nice, especially against Alchemy. You can revive your uh, scouts with their ointments, that sort of thing. And uh, yeah, even Doppler or Reconnaissance are perfectly good options. And finally we have a Glace, who's just another big slam in points if they have spell in their deck, which most decks at the moment do. Even Skellige is running things like Recon and ADC if they're veterans, that sort of thing. So. You know, we're basically playing four really strong power finisher golds. I, I was thinking about Shiru for Eorveth. Uh, you can make that switch if you want to, but I think Shiru is pretty good overall as well. So yeah, that is the deck, and uh, we'll jump into some gameplay. Should be good. Okay, so we found a game against good old uh, Krakan Crate. This, uh, this should be a good matchup, I think. Um, 
so mulligan wise we're going to mulligan reconnaissance and doppler a lot of games because those are the two uh, elven and merc targets if we have marching orders in hand we can also mulligan an elven scout or merc if we have all of those in hand already because we don't want marching orders to hit a three strength unit we want it to hit a one strength unit um in this case we're okay though we'll we'll be fine double war dance is a bit annoying but you know i probably should have mulligan ailer in second to be honest there but you know it's okay so the plan is here we just line up all this stuff for scorch they're going to go to 11 usually with the veterans if he plays um you know, if he plays all three and he plays one with ADC, which he might, then they'll all go to 11. We can scorch them with maybe a bear as well. Um, should be pretty good. And then hopefully win on even cards, spy him, maybe bleed a little bit round two, and uh, just get to round three and win, you know, with a, with a finisher card or two. Um, but we can start with, you know, the scout here. It's pretty fine. Get some carryover. Probably on Triss, since that's a card we don't really want to play here. We could also have done it on the, the War Dancer, though. That's also fine. But yeah, in terms of good and bad matchups, Skelliger's definitely favourable because Scorch hits all their big dudes. Um, Alchemy can be favoured, I think it's pretty coin flip dependent. Um, and you know, other matchups that are prevalent, Hensel's pretty hard to beat with this. Um, that's probably the hardest matchup. But it's definitely, like, this is definitely a strong deck, I think. I wouldn't count it out. We can go Doppler first, we don't really want to... Ooh, more carryover sounds good to me. I guess this time we'll put it on a war dancer in case we want to use that in round three. A little bit of extra carryover. It's always nice. Dandelion Poet. We'll see if he goes into ADC or just another one of these. Just another one. Uh, I mean, this one's 11, so it's going to line up with his bears that he'll play in a minute. So now we just really need to get some big tempo with Aileron. Uh We could do that probably reconnaissance into half elf. We don't find half elf. Uh, so I think Archer's okay here. And just damage, you know, crack a little bit, why not? Not quite enough tempo, not quite the tempo I was looking for, but half health wouldn't have been enough either. We just need to ramp up a little bit. Um, hopefully, you know, pressure him now. So if he, like, we do, we are able to double scorch this round if we want to. Um, should be nice. Depending if he plays bears or not, right? Um, but yeah, this guy's fine. And we can actually very head officer, I think, here. Now we probably want a mulligan, hmm, tricky, because we want a mulligan war dancer, right? But we could also mulligan even. I think war dancer's safer. Doesn't put us over our own scorch. And it's one less brick in hand as well for future rounds. If we need to lose this round tactically, for example, then always an option to not have uh, bricked cards in hand to mulligan war dancer, in fact, and try to keep card advantage that way. We'll see what happens here. So weather clear from Doppler would be nice. We can go for that. We do get it. Happens more than you'd think. More than you'd like. Create is a cool it's a cool thing. It's a great mechanic. Yeah, we traded pretty pretty well there on that gold, I think. Um And he's gotta really wonder, you know, am I gonna play my elevens now and risk getting scorched for quite a lot of points, or do I just piece out of this round and let the opponent have control of the game? Neither is really great for him, but I don't know, veterans they're okay. They can even win one card down sometimes just because of the sheer power of their cards in, you know, in round two and three is, is pretty crazy. And he's played three goals this round, so he's really wanting to commit here. Um, goes for the top player. And to Harpoon is pretty good. Um, now, we can keep playing as long as we can catch up, you know, in, in two cards. And I think we should be able to with the Triss always. Um, getting the Vanguard out of the hand is pretty, you know, it's pretty important. Uh, that card will be kind of lackluster later on. We do have half elves still in the deck though, so it won't be terrible. Plus maybe Hattori or something like that. Um, but really here we're probably going to end up losing this round, I think, um, most likely, just because you know you don't have a huge amount more tempo. I mean we can scorch these. It's definitely a doable thing. Uh, we maybe want to play Triss first though. I'm going to go ahead and play Triss. Just see what we get. We could recon to thin the deck. I think that's probably better than Doppler here. I'll just pick up that half elf. Twenty-one points, not bad. <clears throat> and yeah, we should. We'll scorch him if he plays another card. Probably. Yep, he passes. So scorch comes out. We end up winning the round, which is good. We don't actually have to drop ward answer if we don't want to here, although it might be sensible, um, depending on if we assume he plays spy or not. I think we probably want to keep it for some extra points in round three, though. 
tricky decision to make though. Uh, yeah, we can mulligan the archer, I think. And we'll just drop Yaven, see what happens. Um, a Glace and Nova are pretty good, although, yeah, I mean, we have the Doppler as target, which is nice. Uh, Vanguard's not great. Um, that being said, hmm, we only have one more reconnaissance in the deck, I believe, if we take this one here. Um, we did create. Ah, we we Doppler with Triss. We have a re we have a we have a Doppler in deck. What am I trying to say? But I think I think taking Vanguard's alright. Could maybe even play it here if he doesn't return Spy. Um, we'll see. Just going into round three with only good cards should be the best way to win this. Obviously, um, it can be tricky because I mean, obviously, every card he plays is going to be like fifteen points ish, maybe sixteen, which is a bit scary. More now that he's taking that. So we'll go with the Vanguard and assume he doesn't play Spy. If he does, we're in trouble. But Generally speaking, these veteran decks don't, so it should be safe. I could probably pass after that, since all the rest of our cards are just power plays that we need in round 3, right? But yeah, his bronzes are going to be pretty big. We're going to kind of rely on hitting quite a few of them with the Ithne Scorch. Maybe even a Shiru as well, if we draw that. And yeah, just in general, not bricking on the two draws here. Because if we do draw, you know, I'm trying to think of what we could brick. It shouldn't be anything too bad, so... That's perfectly decent. We have six carryover as well, which helps because these bronze and silver cards are going to be a little bit less than his, unfortunately, in terms of the general strength of them. Um, but we'll see how it goes. Um, we can start with half F Hunter. It's usually like very safe play to do at the beginning of a round, um, whether you're going first or second in that round. Perfectly fine to do that. Um, these are really good in this deck. I mean, they all the units are trying to play below the scorch that you're gonna try to get on your opponent a lot of games. So, um, really quite good stuff. Uh, so here I think we can just go with the glace into Doppler. Now we want to play below 11 points if we can. Uh, we could go Merc here if we wanted. Uh, I think I'm fine taking a Hawker Healer though. Merc is probably not that many more points. I'm trying to think what we could pull. Probably an Archer. Yeah, Merc would maybe be a slightly better pull here. Maybe one point, but you know. That's fine. Hawker, healer, okay. That's pretty interesting because he can offset his units for Scorch now. Um, interesting use of Summoning Circle. I don't really see that many uh, very often in Skellige decks, but we can. I mean, that's probably not the best way to do it because we can now, uh, can now zap his Hunter and you know, line 11's up again if he has any of those to play. That being said, we're going to have to, you know, Scorch before we play Nova, so we might not be able to hit it. Depends how many, you know, depends what his hand's like. If he doesn't have any more reses, this is like a runestone, then he might not need to play at more 11's. But even so, we're getting like a pretty decent value leader. Um, might even be able to take, I don't know, marching orders into Merc for some extra points. In fact, that's probably better than the Scorch if we're going to get Scorch on one. Um, we'll see here though. He's going with, with with the Restore into Harpooner though. That's pretty interesting. Um, playing around our, uh, our Scorch, I guess. So uh, I think it's probably quite safe to go with... Oh wait, have we played both Mercs? I guess we have. But we also played both War Dancers, right? So we could... Yeah, if we march in orders, it should get Hattori, which is pretty nice. Um... Yeah, we take that. Uh, that's another finisher play that we can make. And then Scout seems good. So 11, 10, 9. So we're going to take the 11 point here. Pretty nice. Now we're 20 points up with the Siri Nova to finish. And that'll be the end of that game. Um, so yeah. I think this deck is pretty strong. I mean, it has like a ton of power plays in round three really and you can keep up in tempo with the elves you know as we've seen with Bruva decks being pretty effective in long rounds uh, just thought I'd bring a little bit of spice to the general you know meta game at the moment and this deck's pretty good so feel free to play it uh, I did pretty well with it today uh, on stream so yeah feel free to use it um, and <laughs> have fun good luck when you do if you do anyhow that's uh, gonna be me done for today uh, thanks a lot for watching and I'll see you next time.